All right, so let's flesh this out a little bit more. I'm gonna grab a set of stairs here, rotate them 90 degrees, and get them in the center over here. Um, drag these guys until they hit the, the side of the wall there. Um, it's not snapping perfectly. I could hit the left bracket key to change my snapping increments and we can snap to five. You can see that it's still not uh, going in there perfectly. I can snap it down to one, drag it twice, and yeah, it's just not perfect, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna hit the bracket key up twice to get back to the 10, and then I'm gonna scale this out until we hit the other side. Okay, so we're gonna need some walls here. So let's grab a flat wall. And here's one. Let's duplicate it on over. Get it into position. Okay, uh, let's grab another wall. And then we'll shift select these two, drag them up to create a second story here. Um, I'll grab another floor or another stair rather. We'll overlap those guys. I think that's looking good. Uh, let's do the same with a wall over here. So let's grab a flat wall. Gonna rotate this. 180 degrees and let's line it up. Okay, we're gonna go back twice with it and then we'll go up twice. All right, I'll duplicate another wall here, rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, and what we're gonna create here really is, uh, we'll add some light that'll just kind of fall off into nothingness. Um, but let me grab another ceiling piece here, duplicate it out, and bring it up here. Okay, so I want all this, so I'm gonna Shift select all of this stuff. Okay, and I'll just drag it off to make sure that I've got everything, which it looks like I do. I'll hit undo. And then let's shift drag it and we're going to flip it in X transform mirror X line it up. I believe right there. Let's zoom in to check. Looks like we're good. Okay, one thing I noticed is I want to pull the um, all right. Next, I think I'm gonna add some light fixtures. 
Uh, so we've got this fluorescent light hanging. Can drag this guy up. Get it so it is snapped there nicely uh, with the ceiling, which it looks to be. And find a good spot to start to place these. Go in my top view here, and I'm looking to line this up. Uh, although its pivot isn't in the center, which makes it quite difficult. Um, but I guess I'll just put it there. All right, so I'm going to kind of place one in between, uh, kind of like we did before, in between the um, in between these two meshes, right? So I've got this. I need to bring this guy over in between the two. Looks like it is. And that guy there. All right, so I'll grab these three and, I don't know, move them a bit closer over there. Move some over to here. And another set there. So I've kind of got these three sets. And take a look at them. They're probably not uh, spaced out evenly. So I'm going to type in hang and hit enter. And then we can right click on this, go to visibility and say show only selected. All right, so here we can kind of see where they are uh, not lined up. Um, so this guy is kind of lined up on that meter grid. So I could try to take these and snap those up one or two to line up with that meter grid. And there's kind of two meters in between these two. So now... One, two, three, and a bit. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those look to be evenly spaced. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to select all of these just in case uh, I need to um, move them over. And then I'm just going to hit the Control and H key to unhide everything. All right, and it looks like everything was lined up uh, nicely. All right, so this is kind of uh, blocking my lights here. So I'll grab these point lights, and we can just kind of move them around. So that we still kind of have this working light. But in the next chapter, I think we're going to go in and start to do some lighting.